Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. FreeCAD is a free and open source parametric 3D CAD modeler. It is designed for creating real life objects and is suitable for various applications. I have provided the download link in the description below. In this video, I will show you how to model this house number sign with FreeCAD 1.0 fast and easy. Before modeling this part, we need to download two fonts from this website. I have provided the download links in the description below. This font is for outside border. We will use this border which is letter Y. And we will use this font for the letters. I have downloaded these two fonts and saved them in this folder. Now we are ready to model this part. Open the FreeCAD app and pick Parametric Template. Click on this drop down and pick Draft Workbench. Click on Shape from Text Command. And click on this three dots to pick the font. Browse the folder where you have the downloaded fonts and pick this font. Type capital letter Y in this box. I am going to make this box 180 mil high. Click on reset so the text will be placed at origin. Click OK. Switch to top view. I am going to turn off the grid so it will be more clear. Now I am going to check the length by using this measuring tool. Click on reset and click these two points. I am going to make little bigger by changing the font height. Close this window and double click on this to change the height. I will make it 220. Now, I will add the numbers. Click on shape from text again. Double click on this font and type any number you like. I will make 70 mil for the height to see if this fits inside the frame. The letters are too big. Let's move the letters inside the frame. Click on this Move tool. Click somewhere here and the text should move with your mouse and place it here. Double click on this last shape string and change the height to fit it inside the border. Move it again if you have to. Click and drag both of these shape strings onto this body one by one. Now switch to Part Design Workbench. Switch to Model Tab, select the first shape string. Change to Isometric View so we can see the extrusion. Click on Pad Command. Type 8 for the length and press Enter. Rotate the view and select the bottom face. Click on Create Sketch Command. Click on Create Rectangle Command and draw a rectangle bigger than the inside frame. Right click to exit. Close the window. Click on Pad Command. 
change this to 4 male. And check this reverse option. Click OK. Change to wireframe display style so we can see the letters. Select this shape of string and click on pad command. Switch back to shaded display style. Click OK to close the window. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment below if you have any questions and please don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss my future videos. See you soon.